Welcome everybody to another Wednesday product spotlight. I am Dave Cooper, DaveCooper.live, and today is going to be one of those shows where we talk about something super, super important, the way the industry is changing, product as a service. That's right. We're going to talk about product as a service. So with that said, first off, we got to do a little minor housekeeping. I want to say thank you to our sponsors, Forward Solutions Group, Ben Hershey and Joe Butler. They are a team of more than 175 years of experience developing and specifying manufacturing for panelized volumetric modular industries with best practices in development and implementation. They offer consulting with investors, developers, manufacturers, builders, and using off-site manufacturing methods. Forward Solutions is driving companies to succeed where others have failed. Uh, to find out more information or to look at their services, please visit or email ben at forwardsolutionsgroup.com or go to their website, forwardsolutionsgroup.com. Uh, they have been amazing. I know Ben and I know Joe. And I think uh, if you are in the market for somebody to help you with new solutions, new technology for manufacturing, they are definitely the go-to folks to do that. So thank you again. Information's in the ticker below. All right, everybody, we are live on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. And why are we live on Twitch? Well, that's where the young people are. And we're trying to get their attention in this industry that we all love so much. So uh, today is going to be about a 30 minute show. So I welcome everybody to stay the full 30 minutes. We are in preparation this week with our road show and we have plenty of appointments and things that we need to take care of. So this week is going to be a week where we are having these types of conversations versus interviews, but we will be getting back into that next week. So, all right, how do we start? Where do we start? Product as a service. I'd like to hear your thoughts on what product as a service uh, really truly means. Uh, so put them in the comments. Let's have this conversation. Let's talk about what this is exactly. So uh, as a definition, product as a service is the concept of selling the services and outcomes a product can provide rather than the product itself. The term is a variant of the as a service phrasing that has grown along with the popularity of cloud computing and, for example, software services such as SaaS. Uh, they employ similar subscription based pricing, so on and so forth. So what is product as a service? We're going to touch on a couple of things. John Deere being one of them. You say John Deere. What the heck's John Deere have to do with uh, Wednesday product spotlight? Well, John Deere has a product. And believe it or not, in our world, we use John Deere, excavating, landscaping, whatever the case is. So we're going to show a video on how they have taken their product and provided services with it. And I think this is what's going to drive a lot of our conversation on this show today. So product as a service, selling an outcome or an experience. What does that mean? I want to hear from you what you think that means. And are you selling services with your product or product as a service? Or is it just a one-time thing where you give something, something, somebody something that they buy and that's the end of it? Or are you taking advantage of all the latest and greatest new technology, cloud computing, all of the things that come along with a product and using it to give the consumer or the purchaser a better experience? How are you continuing to give them a better experience? We always say, listen, if you don't have referrals and you don't have that experience with your consumers where they're coming back for more, well, then you're a startup every year. That's how we have always looked at it. If you disagree, let me know. All right, moving moving on. Oh, look, look who is on Twitch. G-Pod America on Twitch. Love the rig background. You like that? We are on the road. This is what we're doing. All week, we're in, uh, we're in the panhandle right now, for those of you that are interested, and maybe you're not, of Florida. And we are down here getting ready for a roadshow, getting all of our licenses, insurance. You would think it was easy. But with anything good, it takes work. It doesn't happen overnight, and that's what we're doing. All right, moving, moving along, moving on. All right, so what is product as a service? Product as a service in manufacturing. How is product is a service in manufacturing. I want to hear your comments on this. 
what is product as a service in manufacturing? We really want to start talking about this because this is the future. This is what is happening and a lot of companies are doing this. Again, this is why we're gonna show a John Deere video that is that talks about and shows not only the product as a service, but it puts the emotional impact with it with the consumer who is using it. In this case, it's the farming industry. And if anybody hasn't realized, guess what? We are below agriculture when it comes to innovation and technology. That's right, construction, construction, new home building, commercial building, we are in last place, even with BIM, AR, VR, all of the things that come with it. So how do you provide your customer with a service? How do you provide them with a solution? And where does that client experience come into play? How will you do this? Let's take a look at how John Deere has done this. And I'm hoping that this is going to strike some conversation amongst all of our viewers out there. Listen in. The front should pass by midday based on drainage and when the rain stops we should be able to start spraying by end of day. Yeah. You're on his way back? He said he was checking on the boys. Alright. Message from Walker Keene. John Deere dealer. Hey, Drew. Updated and checked your combines remotely. All machines are optimized for harvest season. Message to Walker. That's great. Thanks. Send. Message sent. Kate, did you see the latest? Looking at it now. Dad's, you know, worried. With the solutions the agronomist sent me, he'll be better. How are the boys? They're working where we can't, and I'll be on it all night. They'll get it done. Your machines are set for projected yield and moisture. And we're also updating firmware on Harvester 3 tonight. That's great. Hey, let's take a look at fields 5 and 6 tomorrow. May want to change some settings. Then. Yeah, sure thing. We'll check in tomorrow. Have a good one. Thanks. You too, buddy. Go to field five and aggregate all. Mark. Aggregate field five. Recommendations from agronomist. Phosphorus nitrogen application on sections two, eight, and 27 with health predictions. Go with solution two, field five. Solution two, field five. They look great. Mm -hmm. With the weather, prices are up by 10 cents at the elevator. You want to sell? It's not bad. Yeah. Shall we? Let's do it. All right, everybody. So listen, I mean, 
this video that we just watched with John Deere is just an example of product as a service. Now think about that with home building. I see that G Pods is on here right now. Think about this, right? Think about how do you provide a service long after you've delivered your product? What is it that you can do? Did anybody out there know that John Deere was doing all that? That that they had a whole technology and agricultural sign, health experts for agriculture, uh, working with the farm community to grow better farm crops. They became a partner with the farmer. That is their service on top of just selling a really great tractor, right? So think about that in home building. Think about that for air conditioning and for healthy homes, mold, moisture. What are the things that we could be doing in our industry that is going to help make the consumer's life better? What is the service that we can provide them? I mean, this is kind of the future. This is not going to happen. This is happening. And this is a buzz topic right now product as a service. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. We'd like to know who you think we should have on the show with this type of conversation. Who is doing this? Who is doing it better? All of these questions definitely come up. So I love it, G-Pard. Love the, the rig background. Thank you. We want to design manufacturing and operations to wrap into our product and service long-term value offerings to go deer. Yeah, for real. I mean, think about it. I'm tired of being in the last place in this industry, and we're going to change that. We're going to change that collectively, and we are going to not be in last place when it comes to innovation, technology, and doing the right thing for the, for the, for the consumer in our industry. And how do we get there? How do we, how do we get there? So as we go through this today, like I said, we're going to have a short conversation on this. Um, but looking forward, you look at people that are doing digital twins. You know, let me just put it up here, right? The mirrored environment product as a service. You look at, and, and I'll bring it up, you look at uh, Revaya, right? Uh, Splash Modular, what Joel's doing. He's providing a product as a service, not just for one person, but for people all over the place. So you take into account the people that are starting to look at what their product is and how it becomes a service by taking the, the solid hard piece of a product or the cloud-based product and providing services around it. This is what's going to drive our industry forward. Look at the automobile industry satellite radio, vehicles that are autonomous, vehicles that are talking to one another, self-driving, right? Think about it. These are products as a service. I would love in this motorhome behind me, if when we have our 10 hour drive days to just hit cruise control and take a nap, it's not happening, but that would be a great service for somebody like us that's currently on the road doing what we are doing. So I, I, I welcome any conversation that, uh, that, that talks about this, that shows this uh, in, in, in any, any ideas on what you would like to see. We are building our show. We are gonna be talking about homes of the future moving forward, not just the people that are changing how we build. We're gonna talk about how it's going to shape the homes of the future. And I think that's great. Jerry McCall, extremely interesting. Thank you. Well, thanks for joining us, Jerry. Good to, good to see you having, having you on the platform today. All right. Where do we go from here, everybody? I mean, I hope, first of all, everybody's warm. I am uh, obviously sitting outside. We are, in, we are in the Panhandle of Florida, and we are live right now on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook. So please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. This is a prep week for our road show, uh, and we would appreciate all of you out there to join us. We're going to have a lot of fun as we move through this. All right. What does your technology stack look like? Here is another question that we need to answer, right? What does your technology stack look like? What are you using? What are you looking at? So that's great. You have the next best widget. What is your technology looking like? Put it in the comments. We're interested to learn more, right? Are you developing internal solutions? Or are you creating partnerships? Which one are you doing? Are you creating and developing internal solutions to your technology, to your services that you are offering with your product, or are you going to create partnerships? In a lot of instances, it would probably make a lot of sense for companies to create partnerships around their service. And then the last question, and maybe it should have been the first question, 
are you considering your product as a service or do you think it's overrated is your product as a service i want to know let us know let everybody here know is your product as a service and the last question we're going to ask that we would like comments on and here's what's great about the audience a lot of you love to send you know private messages perfectly cool we love that put it out there however you want to do it or put it in the comments here if you're watching it now but are you future proofing your business in a digital world are you proof i can't say it. are you future proofing your business in a digital world these are the questions we're going to be answering this is what's coming up on our roadshow please give us your comments in the comment section or send me a DM, I guess that's what they call it, or a PM, private message, however you, you feel most comfortable doing it. And we're gonna continue these conversations all week and more questions and, and, and we're gonna keep building what we're doing on this show. So let's run through it one more time. This is what we need answers to. Today we are talking at as about product as a service, selling an outcome or an experience. We showed the John Deere video, gives you kind of a high overview of how is a tractor manufacturing company using technology and cloud-based services to give their consumer a better experience. And on top of that, not only is it a better experience, it increases the longevity of their relationship. We don't just wanna sell something, we want people to stay with us. We want to offer them solutions. So by offering solutions, you retain, you retain the consumer for far longer, greater profits. There's all kinds of benefits that come out of that as well. But you, to create profit, you have to provide a solution to them or an experience that they're willing to pay for. All right. The Internet of Things, product as a service in manufacturing. How are you using the Internet of Things as a product, as a service in manufacturing? Let us know in the comments. Service, solution client experience. How are you doing these three things? Do you have a service? Do you have a solution? Do you offer a client experience? All, all very valuable questions you should be asking yourself and your organization. How will you operate? How will you innovate? How will you collaborate? How will you? Will your business strategy versus technology strategy, are they the same? Is your business and technology strategy different or are they the same? Are you going to bring technology into your business? If so, how? We've all heard it. We've been dealing with it. Digital twins, the mirrored environments, right? Build it two or three times on the computer before you build it on paper or sorry, before you build it in the field. We used to do it on paper. Digital twins. How are you using it? Will you be using it? Are you an architectural firm? Are you a manufacturer? These are all very important questions. Operational optimization, predictive analytics. As you saw earlier in the John Deere, this is all happening. They are using it. We will not be in last place anymore. We are going to take this to the next level. Let us know your thoughts on all these things. We want to talk about it. We want to talk about it a lot moving forward on our show. Stacking your business. Are you using collaborations, mergers, acquisitions? Is this important to you? Is this something that is part of your business plan? Let us know. We are going to be covering all of these things. And if you have some comments, put it there. Let's have a conversation. Developing internal solutions or are you creating partnerships? This is all part of the conversation. You know, as businesses out there, we always feel that we are on a island by ourselves. But the reality of it is we're all faced with the same problems and, and, and maybe different solutions to the problems, but the problems are the same for the most part. We all have to figure out how we go to market. We all have to figure out how we provide the best customer experience. Is our widget the best widget it can be? How do we stay ahead of the competition. We all have these issues to contend with and deal with. So are you developing internal solutions or are you creating partnership? partnerships? What makes the most sense? What does your technology stack look like if you are doing these things? We want to know. We don't need the dirt, the nit and gritty. We don't need the, we don't need the information that makes it proprietary. All right. Are you considering your product as a service is the question today. 
We are going through it. And how are you future proofing your business in a digital world? How are you future proofing it? Where you go, where you go. That's uh, from, from Buzz. I don't know if I lost my signal or something, but Buzz, we're here, man. Where you go is the question, right? Where do you go? Where do you take the, uh, to the next level? In fact, maybe I see Jennifer's putting a post up here. Let me read it. Construction technology 2021. How will the digital twin also improve the experience for the homeowner or builder's occupants? Optimizing their experience, comfort, and well-being helps create repeat business. Imagine that. Imagine if the consumer of your product, of your house, of your building is coming back for more, coming back for more. A lot of people don't realize it, but it is possible to have a customer come back and reuse your product, rebuild with you, rebuy from you, whatever the case is, over and over and over again. The life cycle of a consumer is long. And if they're treated well, if they're treated right, and you're providing them solutions to what they are looking for, then it's a win-win for sure. Let's hear your thoughts on this for sure. All right, Jennifer. Very good. Very good. Jerry McCullough, thank you so much for joining us today. G Pods America. Everybody, put your comments in the comment. Put your comments in the comments. Does that make sense? Put your comments in the comments. And if you're watching this live, do it now. If you're watching it tonight or this weekend, trying to catch up on things, put it in there. As a lot of you do, if you want to send me a private message, you know, because you're not the public type and there's a ton of that out there, send us a private message as well through LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever it is. However you want to do it, my phone, it doesn't matter to us. We are taking this to the next level. We're going to be having some fun. And as always, join us on our road show. We have officially started the road show unofficially. Uh, we are getting through some of the paperwork and everything, but we want you to join us. We want you to sponsor if you would like to sponsor. We want you to let us know if we should come to your location and where is that location? What are we going to talk about? Send us a private message. Send us a message in the comments, whatever you want to do. This road show is beginning. We are starting. We'll be uh, in Alabama next uh, week for a few days. Then we're going to be back probably in Florida and then working our way back north and west. When I say north, we're going to try and stay in the warmer weather until it clears up a little bit. But let us know where you are, what you're doing. And if you have something that is better or you're being innovative and you would like us to work with you to possibly come by and showcase your product, your service and what you're doing, send us a message. We only know you're out there if you tell us or if you know somebody that would like us to stop by, refer us. We always appreciate that. Uh, let's see what we got here. Henry Mickelberg, what's up? I don't really understand this, but I think that my Alfa Romeo is a product that just keeps mechanics in business as a service. Well, you know, hey, that's true. Listen, we have a GMC Acadia. I couldn't even change the light bulb on it. You're right. Some sometimes, sometimes a manufacturer can make a product so difficult that you have to buy their service. I'm not sure I agree with that one. 500 bucks for just the bulb. And I can't even change it anymore. My and my old uh, my old cars, man. You could just reach in and unplug it, put a new one in. You know, forty bucks later, you're you're up and running. <laughs> but you are absolutely right. So, but it is about future proofing your business. And you know, the automobile industry has a lot of this stuff figured out. Whether you agree with how they do it or don't do it, Alfa Romeo being one of them. Um, good to see you, Henry. I hope I hope all is well on your end. All right, everybody, listen. Thank you for tuning in today. I have to run to some appointments, but let's talk about this. Send us your comments. I want to learn more about what you think product as a service is, what product or service do you have? And as always, let us know where you are, what you're doing, and if you would like us to swing by your location during our road trip and stream live on location, showcasing what you are doing, what your product is doing, we want to know, we want to do it because at Dave Cooper Live, we are bringing you the people in the processes that are building it better. Our guests and topics include building and experts in building systems, the building science, building codes, and the tech used to build it better. And our show coming up, this road show is going to be no different. We are seeking out the best and the brightest in the construction industry and discovering all the ways that innovative buildings come to life. So please let us know. My BMW jerks just works as a product. I love it. All right, Henry. I love it. I love it.
I want to go for a ride now for a minute. I've never been in one of those. It sounds like it'd be a fun ride if it's not broke down. All right, everybody, listen, my name is Dave Cooper. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned. We have a lot coming up. Our road show is beginning. Enjoy. This is what's behind us. We're living in this, and we are traveling the country, bringing you all the people and innovations that are doing it different. I'm Dave Cooper. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We will see you tomorrow on Increasing Influence with Miles Biggs, Biggs Ideas at 1 p.m. Bye now.